Hey guys, welcome back to Tank Mechanic Simulator and we're here in the scrapyard because I just found a beauty. The thing I have always wanted. No, it's not a Sherman. I already have one of those and you'll see that in a second. I've got two technically. I've also got a 76 T34? T34 dash D, D, the new one, the 85. T3485. And a Panzer 3. But you'll see in a second. Oh, hello. Eh, ah, trash. Give me trash. I'm like a hobo with tanks. Um, you'll see now. Inside my workshop, I'm leaving this menu in because it builds suspense. I have finally found, and it wasn't in a pit, it wasn't underground. I have found a stug. Yes! <laughs> I shouldn't be so excited. It's just an armored fighting vehicle. It's a self repel gun. But mama love a stug. Yeah, mama do. Mm-hmm. Well, it is time to get to work on the Stug. I have been wanting one of these for so long, it is impossible to tell you how much. It's my favourite German armoured vehicle. Yes, I actually have one, and it's the Humble Stug. One of the most produced vehicles in the Second World War. Uh, came with a variety of gun mounts, including the short-barreled... Uh, I think it was a 75 short-barrel. They also had the longer barrel, 50 millimeter and eventually they even had a 10.5 so yeah had a bigger siege weapon they had as an option so let's pull the engine out uh yes use why are you glitching on me not the time to do this okay stug engine why am i over here now well i can't actually put a stug engine on here it's gonna be the sherman one but Oh, I have to sand it? Okay. I'll just sand this now because it's here. And I might as well. Uh, it just builds suspense for the stug. Don't know why I'm doing it, but I am. Because I might as well finish the Sherman at some point. But I'm just distracting myself from the fact that I'm going to do this stug and it's going to be over in a single video. And I'm going to be so disappointed. Because I love it. It's my favorite one. I've waited so long in this game. Like You can't believe just how many tanks i've repaired off screen trying to randomly come across a stug in some hole in the ground or some bog or in a scrapyard or somewhere else and i have looked for so long and i just walk outside today going you know what i'll check before i get off i just finished a panzer three i'll look before i get off and lo and behold el stuggo mm -hmm. el stuggo is just sitting there little stuggy give it a gangster name Little Stuggy. There we go. That works. Oh, hello. Give her a beautiful, tender, loving care and make this the most beautiful Stug in existence. I shouldn't be that excited about a fighting vehicle, but I like them. I don't know why they're cute. Plus, it's my favourite one in Girls and Panzer, which is an anime, and yes, I watch anime occasionally. But we've got a Stug to do. That's what's important today. Wasn't expecting tomorrow or today to be a tank mechanic video, but I'm I'm happy with it. It's the one I've wanted for a while. Let's get this baby done nicely. All the parts there. I'm going to have to buy quite a few of them. But we'll get it done. Oh, there we go. Controls a little sticky occasionally, which is weird, but yeah, we'll go with it. Make sure that's been done, is that? You're not a fuel system. Are you that? No, you're that. Okay. There we go. Let's get the suspension arms. Torsion bar suspension, of course. Essentially the same chassis as the uh, Panzer III. Basically, it's just a fixed upper turret put on it. Um, let's prime this so far, and then we'll go to get parts. We'll rip out the interior stuff next, and then we'll go to that. Shouldn't be a very long process, this one, because it's a very simple vehicle, which is why I'm really kind of sad it took me this long to find one. It'll be over way too quickly. But it will make her worth it. 
absolutely worth it. This will be my love song to the Stug. Also one of my favourite vehicles are things like War Thunder, World of Tanks. Love the Stug. It's badass. Don't know why I think that, but it is. There we go. Exterior is looking nice. Oh, there we go. Let's clean this off. And a boom. Accessing most of the stuff inside there is going to be a pain in the ass, so... We'll pull that off. Okay, I'm going to have to use the internal mode to see any of this crap. Let's get those out. And those out. Anything else I can see that will actually come off here because it's being special. There we go. Radiators out. Oh, this one bolts down. They're making it take even longer. It's weird. It's like the Panther has the same sort of suspension as the Tiger. Yet the Tiger has 40 billion nuts and bolts. And the Panther's like, oh, let's just shove them on anywhere. We don't really care. We're not going to simulate the bolts of that one. It's like the showers in House Flipper. There's, there's suddenly one and then many. Why is that a weird colour? That bothers me on an intellectual level. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. If only I could get down inside this baby. But I can't. And I'm sad. I'm a Rax. Now everything else in here looks reasonably good. We'll need to pull the gearbox out as well. And that'll be the pred pedal bracket. I think that is everything disassembled inside. So we're looking pretty GG here. Okay. Nope, stay open. Damn it. Don't we close? Come on. Is that how far you're open? Right. Okay, so tank analysis. Buy missing parts. We'll have them painted because it will just save us time when it comes to some of these parts that we can't really access. Right. Let's start putting stuff on the outside that was missing. Oh, they made it so simple. Those are all individual parts and the other ones. It's like it's teasing me. It doesn't want me to have fun doing this one. It wants it to take less time. It's like, oh, Stugs are boring. You don't want to be interested in Stugs. Why would anybody be interested in Stugs? Ugh, are you weird? You should like the Tiger. Or the Panther. Or the Panzer IV. Or the Ferdinand. I'm like, no. Stug. I probably sound mentally unstable right now. But I'm not sorry. Let's pop that in. And that in. And that in. And that in. And we are blowing through this bad boy. More time on the range, I guess. That'll be nice. And I will take this to the test drive area and to the range. And we're going to have a lot of fun with Stuggy. Enjoy that Stug life. I think the thumbnail for this is going to require me to finally actually put the uh, MLG shades on it. Because it's a Stug. It's required. you got to live the Stug life. Honestly... In World of Tanks, I became pretty adept with both the Stug and the Nashorn and a few of the other ones. Basically, self propelled guns. I would hide in the most annoying places, especially the ones with really low barrel depression. I would just cause mayhem and murder. I'd just hide behind rocks and just pew, pew, pew. It was great. Loved it. I love being a sneaky tank sniper. That was my jam. Okay, let's give this a blast. With field cow. Make sure everything gets painted here. Leave no part unpainted. There we go. Beautiful. That is exactly what we're looking for. Why have I become French? I should be going to the German. Yeah, this is exactly what we want to do. Uh, the fields on this side are in perfect condition, and I'm turning French again. I don't know why I do that, but uh, you'll have to forgive me. Definitely sounding mentally unstable now. Not helping myself. 
Okay, those pieces are looking good. Looking good. Right. Assembly time. Do do do. Let's get another one on here. Front shock. The roller arm. A wheel. A wheel. A road wheel arm. Wheel. Wheel. Idler wheel. Lots of bolts. We'll get to all Stuggy's engine in a moment. And there's the gun and everything else has to go in. Lots of work. Lots of work still to do. Plenty of time to enjoy Stuggy. Anyway, that goes that. And... Rear one goes on. Gear elements in there. Gearbox cover. Outer gears. External housing. And the large bolts that protect that. Front drive sprocket. Bolt it in. So we're in a NASCAR team with a tank. Tank NASCAR. Hey, France family, pay attention. That would be big business. Tank NASCAR. Imagine that. Tank oval racing. It would be great. It probably wouldn't be great. It'd probably be terrible. But I think it'd be hilarious, so it should probably just happen. Yeah. There we go. Pair the hatches there. Some track up on top. All looking good externally here, apart from the lack of, well, you know, the small matter of a gun. And kind of a lot of parts on this thing. We were lacking in a lot of bits and pieces. Ah, exterior exhaust. Rear tow mount. Okay. Bolt down the radiators, which is the only tank where you have to do that in this game. It's the only tank. No other tank has... The first things to do. So weird. There we go. All the bolts down. Nicely done. Put the fan belts on. Also putting the water hoses in. Oh god, we don't want to do that. I want that to come off. Uh, this needs to go on. The batteries. It's weird because the compartment's the same as the Panzer III, but on the Panzer III in this own game, you do not have to bolt down those. That is a weird bit. It's not even on the same the same interior bay. It doesn't do it. Go figure. You know? Okay. Pop the covers on. There we go. Spare wheel mount. The jack, everything gets in the rear deck of the stug. You'd have to find these in the actual field, stacked up with more spare wheels, track pins, ammunition boxes, rifles, field kit of the actual men. Everything was on these. Let's put the shaft in there. The floor. Partition. That'll be the commander's seat. Prop shaft cover. Another seat here. To go to no two no oh there are options now for that cool um we'll go to one prop shaft cover commander's periscope is in place no put the extinguisher in put that on there there we go what else needs to go in here that I can't quite see Air pipe. Pretty sure there's something missing here. Oh, yes, the gun base plate, the cannon cradle. And the gun. Muzzle brake. Although I love how it wants me to put the muzzle brake on before the man cut. There we go. Somehow the man cut slides on without it. Forward attachment point, and this is starting to look like a real stug now. Come on, there you go. All the way in. Why are you being difficult? Every other tank is just like, just click, and it goes in. This one, it's making me drag it. Okay. Exterior conditions looking relatively 
What's that? Huh. Okay. Let's get more stuff put in here. No, that needs fixing. Okay, let's go to our storage. Uh, select all, because it only picks the ones that need repairing. Outsource repairs. Boom. A couple of those bits and pieces. The ammunition box, I bought another one even though I had one. So we'll get those repaired now. I'm pretty sure I told you to outsource all the repairs. Oh, I said cancel. I'm an idiot. Anyway, as we do that, let's take a look back at Stuggy. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. It's taken me so long to get one of these and I can't wait to drive it. And there's a the Sherman. That's a random spare barrel. Can I clean this? No, I can't. But I can clean those. I just can't clean this for some reason, which is a random barrel lying around. But we can clean the Sherman. Distracts me from the 10, 20 seconds I was having to wait for that part. There we go. This is kind of a project one. I've done one before. They're okay. I, I like the Shermans. I wish there'd been another version. I also wish you could have like the logs on the sides and all the decorations of war they had. And not have these side skirts because on most of the ones in the field, those, those were on there. But the drop-down actual guards that were on the side here, below those, did not exist. But this forces me to put the stuff that was from factory on it, but not the stuff the soldiers threw away in the field. So... Da -da 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 -da. Clean that off. And we'll come back to us later because it's stug time. Let's get up back on top of the... Hole. There we go. The box is back in. There's a cooling hose in there I missed. There you are. Okay, locker goes in. Locker goes in. Gunner's optics go in. Locker goes in. Elevating handwheel goes in. Traverse handwheel. Driver's seat. I love how you can't even get inside the turret on this one which would be hugely beneficial for a vehicle that's so ugh, troublesome to access otherwise because you can't see a single thing but you know logic would dictate that would not happen because mm, tank flipper not tank flipper tank mechanic simulator i keep calling it tank flipper because yeah it's like house flipper for tanks restore and sell tanks duh i guess it would have been a lawsuit that'd be a problem wouldn't it Okay, nothing over there. I think we're looking pretty good inside. Interior condition is... What's missing? Oh, locker. Anything else? Oh, ammunition box A. I think we're looking good in there. Oh, no, we're not. So, analysis. Hell, interior, we're missing the engine cover D. It's fine. Where do you live? Oh, there. Turret interior, done. Hull exterior. 97%. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, that. And what are we now? 100%. Excellent. So it's now time to not be kneeling down and fix this. And all the parts I literally have to pull off, so there's no point. I might as well just take everything off and send it off for repairs so it's in pristine condition. This is never leaving my museum, for the record. Ever. I will never sell the Stug. Or any Stug. I'll have a whole museum full of Stugs if I have to. I will do that. There we go. Oil filter. Should have the same parts, honestly. Panzer 3 engine. Generator. Dipstick. Always check that. It's a great dirty mechanics word. Storage, select all, outsource repairs. Boom. Hi, Stuggy. Yes. You feeling good? You feeling complete? You look amazing. Yes. Let me close your doors. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. I'm talking to a tank. Leave me alone. Okay. So it's now assembly time. No missing parts. I thought I bought those parts. Pretty sure I did. Hmm. Huh. Boom. There we 
go. So what's manifold? Cover, starter. Put the shield on there. And put these last ones in. And see, they just go in by clicking. Click and hold. Easy. There goes that. Generator. Exhaust manifold. Manifold cover. Don't forget the dipstick. Fuel pump hose. Carburetor. Air filter pipe A. Filter pipe B. Air filter pipe B. Yeah, filters. Exhaust pipes. Starter. What else are we missing here? Oh, the pulleys. Now, when I said buy missing parts, it should have bought all the parts that were missing, not just one or two. There we go. Three. Interesting. And now I do have an oil cooler, apparently. What is missing from you now that I can't suddenly see? Oh, dipstick. And a fuel hose. What else is missing that I can't see? You're going to be an asshole to me, aren't you? Somehow, invis there, there we go. Fuel hose. There's more still. What is missing? Re. Okay, tank analysis. Eng oh, transmission shaft needs fixing. Um, engine. Oil filter. That'll be it. Where does that live? Oh, there. Boom. Done. Okay, let's put you back inside. And let's quickly grab the transmission shaft. Not realistic to do this, but... Where do you live? Oh. Oh. There we go. Come on out. How do I disconnect you? Oh. Take that out. And... This is so convoluted. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. No, not tablet. Want to go to the storage area, select all outsource repairs. That needed doing, of course. That definitely needed doing. Those two are fine. I don't know why I did that. I'll have to put those back in in a second. Or well, 13 seconds to be precise. And we should be done in a record 20 minutes, which is nowhere near long enough for me to be happy with a stug. But we'll be on the range in no time. So... Let's put these back in. And this. And the prop cover. The locker. The pipes. Okay. Fuel system, what's missing? Radiator cap. Oh. Should do something about the radiator cap. Eh, there we go. Uh, oh, I have to pull all this crap off, don't I? Uh, such an annoyance. Could just press I. Don't want to press I. Because I could just do this with paint, not do anything else. Oh, bloody air filters. There we go. All of it for that. Yeah, that was it. All of that for that. At least it's quick to go back together. <laughs> Small mercies, right? Uh, air vent goes on. Jack goes on. Tow rope goes on. Spare wheel goes on. Exterior. Okay. Analytics. She is 100%. Okay. To the paint shop. Oh, move to the paint shop. Uh, move, 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 move. Uh, how do I move? Where does move menu gone? I am confused. Oh. No? 
Why don't you want me to move you? Oh, move. Move tank. To paint room. Let's get our painting on. Okay. Hello, Stuggy. Hi there, buddy. So first thing we need, of course, is the Iron Cross. Which will be on the side of our turret. Make sure it's level, at least. And we're going to probably leave the numbers off for now than that. It's all we want to go with. Actually, you know what? We'll pop one of these in the front. Probably smaller than that. There we go. And I'm pretty happy with that look wise. So, colors. Do we want to go Africa Core? Dark yellow was a the color they used. Oh, apply to all these things. Uh, camo. Okay. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Or that. Or that. That's not bad at all. Oh, do we need to fix that one? That's so faded. Yeah, we'll go with this. Okay, and... No, we'll leave it up like that. Should do us nicely. Could leave it grey, not going to. It'll look fine. Um, apply. Now I do need to move this old girl back to the workshop real quick. Workshop area to bay one. Oh, I'm kneeling down. How did I miss this one? Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. That is so annoying. Really, you're going to make me repaint this whole thing for the one flipping vendor? That is, that is dirty. Come on. There we go. Oh, now it counts as a painted. Uh-huh. Okay, you will count as painted. Right, Stugler. Stuggo. Let's take this bad boy for a drive, shall we? Oh, uh, fluids. Fill up container one. Let's get some fuel in here. Need to go back to analytics. Drive mode, fluids, oil. Do that one. Should only be one we need to worry about on this. And coolant one. And then coolant two. And we're good to go take a drive in our beautifully finished stug. Containment two. I thought this would be really, really slow. But no, it turns out it's really, really fast. Okay. So, drive options. Proving grounds. Let's go. Well, we're in the Stug's natural habitat now. Where is it? Oh, camouflaged over there. Look at this bad boy. Look how small they are. I don't care. I want to get in. Let's get the commander seat, shall we? Nah. Oh, I need to get the driver's seat, don't I, to move? Uh, no, close, E, there we go, oh god, 
Okay, let's go back to the outside so I can see something is happening. Oh, yes. She lives. Oh, we missed. Not that time we didn't. Little shallow. Not a hit. That's a hit. Nearly there. Really sensitive for some reason today. Should be a hit. Yep. Let's see if this is a hit. Not a hit. Super long range target. That should be low. And. Nearly. Too low. Come on, just hit. Gotcha. Turn the hole. Ooh, yes. Nah, the hole is so problematic. There we go. Take the wall down. Now I get to kill you. Okay, let's go outside again. Oh, it won't let me drive it. You know what? I don't care. Uh, I'm stuck. How am I? I'm out of the tank. There we go. Oh, Stuggy. Yes, that was amazing. Well, uh, shut down. Quiet. Stug has been Stug, and Stug has been amazing. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this one. Uh, this episode of Tank. I keep wanting to do it. Tank Flipper is not a tank mechanic simulator. I finally got my stug. I am so happy. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Bye.